Hey guys, I'm Sarah, I'm Caitlin, and we are your first friends. Welcome to our channel. Today's video is our current obsessions, yep. Christian girl themed. So they're Christian y things. Yep. Get to know us a little better. Get all some right? inspo. Get some fun inspo. All right, let's Got go. Anything else? No, subscribe to the channel. Join our friend group. Instagram, Sarah and Caitlin. We post almost every day. Good inspo, good captions, keeping it real, all the things. Jump on there. Yeah. First, this Bible, but not just the Bible, okay? This is a Bible we got from FCA camp like almost a year ago. But what's cool is instead of taking my notes outside of my Bible, I have been using little sticky notes like so and writing notes in wow. my Bible as God reveals things to me. That is an obsession let me, right there. Let me, my whole Bible doesn't look like this, but let me find you a good example page right here. Boom. Okay, it's really fun because in a year, I'm gonna look back and I'm actually gonna see little things and when I read the passages again, I get revealed. So these little sticky notes, you can buy them from like Office Depot. Do they know where they can buy them? And look. If you have a Bible that's big, you want big margins, okay? It won't work with my tiny Bible. That's but right. that's one Christian girl current obsession. All right, my turn, see notes. So on my bedroom wall, I have a wall that has frames, and those frames are, I have six frames, and I have Bible verses on them. I took some time and I prayed, God, what would be good Bible verses to put on my wall? And boom, that's how I decorated one of the walls of my bedroom. And the reason why I decided to have a Bible verse wall is because I just really do want to be surrounded with the Word of God. And sometimes when I'm laying in bed, instead of reading my Bible, I can actually just look to my wall and meditate on some of the verses and literally meditate, read them over, think about what those verses really mean, break it down, worship the Lord because of these verses. And all of them kind of attest to different um, parts of being a believer. They attest to things that God has said. And so I love my Bible first wall and I just feel like the only decoration in the world I want is Bible verses everywhere. And she did it so cute too. Yes. Which you'll be watching clips of it. Yeah. Okay, my next current obsession is, so there's this Christian music artist called Riders. They're a band. And they do Christian music, but it doesn't sound like typical Christian music. It's like indie, alternative sounding music. I'm obsessed. Okay, I've never is, heard of it. I showed you one of their songs a few weeks ago, so... Okay. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> it's okay. Actually, it was like a month ago. But if you are looking for Christian music because you don't want to listen to worldly music, but you also don't feel like listening to worship music all the time, which is my struggle, this is just the most amazing band ever. And the lyrics are so beautiful and godly. I just know that listening to worldly music all the time is not the most healthy for my brain because nah, of the lyrics. That. So, it's only getting worse too, it's so bad. Right, and I'm not perfect with that either, but oh my gosh, I wish this band had more songs. They'll come out with one. It's so good, I can't wait. I so we'll start our own. Best friends. Yes, um, so give them a listen and let me know what you think, but trust me, this is an underrated gem if you have not heard yeah. of them. A gem. Christian obsession, my second Christian obsession is uh, the Bible app. Never thought that I would say this. I feel like if I were to watch all the Christian Obsession YouTube videos, they would all say the Bible app. But I'm gonna say because my notifications are on. I read my Bible, like my, tech, my you know, my real life Bible. But dude, lately the notifications, I never turn them on, but they're on. And every morning or afternoon or something, it texts me the Bible verse of the day. And it's so weird how they literally are so spot on sometimes. And the Bible app, the daily Bible app, it's the one with the brown. It's like up to its game. It comes with a video next to the Bible verse and they will say a little message and then a prayer. And it's like, bro, that's amazing. The word of God, we need it every day. There's a Bible app that literally they've done all the work for you with a little message the way that you can apply it to your day, a prayer, like that's everything. So I've been loving that extra supplemental resource. Are you kidding me? And for those of you that have like your phone screen designed, I'm just gonna show you like with the widgets and stuff. That's the Bible verse of the day, except it does it in like a stylish graphic. So yeah, that's cool. It's pretty sick. My number three Christian obsession 
And this is not something that I have anything physical to show. It is going to my church's youth group. Mm. Since January, I've been serving as a leader in my church's youth group and boy. So you mean serving at your youth group because you're older? Yeah, yeah. But also going. It's not just about the fact that I'm serving. It's like being in the environment. Well, I just wanted to mention that for contextual purposes that you don't sit through it like a student. You're yeah, no, there. I'm serving as a leader, but oh, it is just so amazing. It's just been a wonderful way to get plugged in with my church and also just to see like young people in my area like growing in the Lord and having such a passion for it and being able to serve them. It's such a beautiful thing. So if you're older, consider serving in your church yeah. in some way because if you don't have friends in your church serve in your church like that's not why we serve to make friends but i think for a long time i was waiting for more social events or more ways to meet people that are specifically targeted towards meeting people life as a believer is not supposed to be like us constantly being served all the time and like meeting up uh, not to get all. pizza and like go to parties and stuff like actually we're supposed to just be walking hand in hand working on the same mission and through that we become closer friends than ever so if you're looking for deep community in your church serve somewhere or if you're younger don't sleep on your church's youth group or go with a friend to their youth group try it out and find your people because it's so renewing to be around other yeah. believers. It really is. And now more than ever in this day and age, you need to, you yes. need to get plugged in. 30 years ago, if your parents, you live in a godly house, bro, youth group is like supplemental. In this day and age, you need to go to church. You need to go to your youth groups because this world is getting so polluted, so trashy, so deceived. You need to get plugged into a good church that stands on the word of God and surrounded by at least people who recognize and proclaim that Jesus Christ is the Lord and Savior. Or else you're you're just gonna you have no point of reference. You have no point of reference for truth. You don't know actually which direction to walk in life. Yeah. So get plugged in. My last one is also not uh like physical. My last Christian girl obsession is friendships. <gasps> kind of actually goes back off of years. It does. Now I'm not talking about the cute Pinterest -y kind of friendships where like on our Instagrams it's just the cute pictures and that's what I'm obsessed with, all those good cute times. Yeah. The obsession for me is that we were not meant to do life alone. Jesus literally tells his disciples and those who are going to choose to follow him that the world would know that we are truly his disciples if we love one another. Mm -hmm. And love is not like, oh I want to hug Caitlin all the time and it's so like sweet. Love is, love is patient, love is kind, love is, it's a lot of things. Almost all the words that define love is a verb, it's an action. And a lot of love is actually selfless. It is not motivated by what you can get out, but it's motivated by what you can give to them. Love is patient and so I've been obsessed with friendships because I get to truly uh, prove that I'm a disciple of the Lord by the way that I love my friends and live this life and honor Him. So that is our Christian obsessions. That's all we got. Thank you guys for watching and um, we just hope that you have a blessed week. Yes, we love you guys so much and we'll see you in the next video. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye! Oh